Chemical and Engineering News, Special Report on Fluoridation, 1988. On August 1, 1988, CNEN published a special report on fluoridation of water. The following excerpts are quoted from that article. In the second clinical stage, pains in the bones become constant and some of the ligaments begin to calcify. Osteoporosis may occur in the long bones and early symptoms of osteosclerosis are present. Bony spurs may also appear on the limb bones, especially around the knee, the elbow, and on the surface of the tibia and ulna. In advanced skeletal fluorosis, called crippling skeletal fluorosis, the extremities become weak and moving the joints is difficult. The vertebra partially fuse together, crippling the patient. The situation is complicated because the risk of skeletal fluorosis depends on more than the level of fluoride in the water. It also depends on nutritional status, intake of vitamin D and protein, absolute amount of calcium, and ratio of calcium to magnesium in drinking water, and other factors. Although skeletal fluorosis has been studied intensely in other countries for more than 40 years, virtually no research has been done in the United States to determine how many people are afflicted with the earlier stages of the disease, particularly the preclinical stages.